Hello, everybody, and welcome to the channel. It's Paul Yester here. And well, once upon a time, we were hoping that we might get Tony Hawk in Dead by Daylight, and it seemed ridiculous, but it wound up being a no-go because Tony Hawk's video game likeness rights are securely tied to his Pro Skater franchise, so that was a no-go. But then suddenly, this week, it was announced that we are going to get None other than Oscar Award winner Nicolas Cage in Dead by Daylight. Let me show you this tweet here. It's the performance of a lifetime, Dead by Daylight Nicolas Cage, coming to a realm near you. Learn more on July 5th. I mean, given his National Treasure franchise, I would think that July 4th would be a little more appropriate. But, you know, let's not quibble over that. All right, here we go. There is nothing more powerful than imagination. It can shape the fabric of reality, transforming everything you may think you know. <laughs> Learn more on July 5th. So, People are out there wondering, how did this happen? Why did this happen? And I have no earthly idea, but it is a great thing for the game, and I'm going to explain it to you why. But first, let's start off with the how. I have no idea, but I just imagine that they were sitting around the pitch room trying to figure out different franchises they could get, and somebody said, hey, what if we get Mandy, Nicolas Cage from Mandy? And then they said, well, yeah, but who would... Who would the villain be? Who would be the killer from that? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I don't know. And then, well, what about Willy's Wonderland? We could get Nicolas Cage as the janitor from Willy's Wonderland. And then they said, yeah, but our, our people, our fans really want Five Nights at Freddy's. Would they accept a, a knockoff in the Willy's Wonderland style? And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? It would be really great if we could just simply get Nicolas Cage. And then they thought... and. Why don't we just get Nicolas Cage? <laughs> so it seems they have secured the likeness rights to Nicolas Cage in Dead by Daylight. And I think this is an amazing thing. Let's start out with his lore. I haven't seen many people talk about his lore. So I have his lore here. So I'm going to show it to you. It comes from this website called Eurogamer. Thanks to my friend Bridget for tipping me off to this. Nicolas Cage will feature in Dead by Daylight a horror face-off. Uh, by Ed Nightingale, and it says, Nicolas Cage, yes, the Hollywood actor, is set to feature in horror multiplayer game Dead by Daylight. It's the performance of a lifetime, reads the announcement on Twitter. If you're wondering what he'll look like, well, he looks a bit like Nicolas Cage. And then they show the trailer, and it says, more about Nicolas Cage is set to be revealed on July 5th. Until then, you can tune in to the Dead by Daylight 7th anniversary live stream next week, it's actually today, to see what the developer has in store for year 8. People say, well, wait a minute, it's the 7th anniversary, how's it year 8? Well, yeah, the 7th anniversary is on June 14th, then the game will have been around for 7 years, and then we journey into year 8. That will be the beginning of year 8. So that's why they say year 8. Nicolas Cage will play himself in the game and will take the role of Survivor. I've seen some people saying he could be both. Is he the killer? Is he a Survivor? Why can't he be both? This seems to indicate that he is only going to be a Survivor. And here's the official blurb. So this is his lore. After countless awards and over 100 movies shot across the globe, Nicolas Cage had seen it all and done it all, or so he thought. While on set filming the role of a lifetime, his performance summoned the entity, a malevolent being of incomprehensible power, and the actor soon found himself cast in otherworldly fog, forced to survive a host of terrifying killers deadlier than even the, even the most scathing film critic. So that's his lore. Um, I think this is great for the game. I see a lot of people saying, well, like, what are his cosmetics going to be? Is he going to be able to dress up, like, as characters he has played in other movies? And I do believe that is the case. I have a bit of evidence to show you, which I think really proves that. So let me um, shut this down here for a second. And when we look at this here, I'm going to show you these two things. So this is a new movie that Nicolas Cage has coming up. His next movie, I believe, 
which is called Sympathy for the Devil. And if you look at the outfit he's wearing here in this film, I dare say that that is spot on exact to what we see in the trailer with the pattern on this smoking jacket and the black t-shirt underneath. So it does look like either this is a tie-in to his new film or any of his movie roles will be on the table for him to uh, be seen in. Maybe not Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider might be a little too trademarked. But I don't believe that clothing is something that could be trademarked. So you could certainly dress him up as you see him appear in other films and just maybe not call it, you know, the Con Air outfit or something. But um, you could do the Escape Prisoner or something. You could call it that, you know, and get away with these kind of things. And um, we actually have evidence of Dead by Daylight transforming um, trademark stuff. So it's close, close enough. Like you could put you could put Nicolas Cage in something that would be re very reminiscent of a Willy's Wonderland t-shirt, but maybe not have it say Willy's Wonderland explicitly. And the example I can show you here of that is for, is actually in the game right now, is Rochelle, Claudette as Rochelle from Left 4 Dead. And you see here that in Left 4 Dead, she's wearing this Depeche Mode shirt from the band. And then in Dead by Daylight, they have tweaked it with the same kind of style, but it doesn't say Depeche Mode. Instead, it says True Artists. So you could definitely do a close enough kind of an outfit that looks like something that Nicolas Cage has worn in past films, whether it be Cameron Poe from Con Air or Caster Troy from Face Off, um, Benjamin Franklin Gates from uh, National Treasure, etc., etc. Red Miller from Mandy, the janitor from Willy's Wonderland. I think all of these kind of things will be on the table. Um, and you can't trademark clothing, right? So you could dress him up as he appeared in his roles and play any of those. I uh, had someone say that everybody is going to be running around with a map in their hand, pretending that they have the Declaration of Independence in their hand as Nicolas Cage, which is amazing. So the reason why I say this is good for the game is because it opens up so many more possibilities for things that maybe have not been available to us in the game, like an end around way to do this. For example, let's say that you sign the likeness rights of Jamie Lee Curtis, and then you can just dress her up as she appears in various iterations of the Halloween franchise. And then you don't have to get permission from Halloween for the other catalog of films, and you can just put her in like that. Or for example, uh, Nev Campbell, you can sign her likeness rights and you can complete your Scream movie by putting Nev in there. And uh, she was also in The Craft, by the way, and then you don't have to worry about the Scream film franchise. That's a great way to do it. Other options would be Matthew Lillard, who was in 13 Ghosts, also in Scream and uh, Shaggy. I don't know. Maybe you couldn't get away with Shaggy or maybe you could. I don't know. People have been wanting Scooby-Doo forever. Like Zoinks, man. So. And there's nothing. There's nothing saying you can't get Elvira now. What is the hold up? We can obviously get Elvira now. If we have gone this route with Nicolas Cage, anything is on the table. Get Cassandra Peterson's approval. Get Elvira in the game right now. So many possibilities by doing this likeness rights thing. I think it is a brilliant idea and it just opens so many possibilities up to the game. Now, things like Ghost Rider for Nicolas Cage, I think that would be a significantly recognizable trademark for Marvel Comics and you couldn't dress up Nicolas Cage like Ghost Rider. But pretty well everything that he's been in in just average clothing should be on the table. And I think this is an exciting time for all of us. Now, what will Nicolas Cage's perks be? I have no idea, but John, I met him in Montreal and in Toronto. He's a great guy and a great dev. He tweeted out his perks are going to be a treat. Y'all are not ready. What if the perks are named after Nicolas Cage's movies? Uh, National Treasure, where he's just the best ch chest searcher you've ever seen. Gone in 60 seconds, which is how fast he can do gens. 
or face off the ultimate anti-camping perk. I have no idea what it could be, but it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun here, according to John. Can't wait to see it. We might find more out here today. The dev stream is today at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be live streaming it on Twitch if you want to have a watch party and hang out with me. And uh, they have a little bit of a teaser here for it. It says, we've started the party early, but there's still a lot more to celebrate. Tune in for the anniversary broadcast on Friday, May 19th. It says 1.30, but they do. Or they are going to start it at 1 to gather the audience, and there's going to be some special blurbs ahead of time. So let's watch that uh, at 1 p.m. or Eastern time for an early start to our yearly festivities and some more surprises. And then they have this teaser here for it. Comic books. Legion comic books. Dang, that's a big old totem. Is that what the set's going to look like this year? Thank you for being part of this amazing journey. Be ready for what's next. I can't wait to see it. I have, for the most part, avoided spoilers, so I'm going to find it all out live. And I can't wait for the show to go on. Uh, hope to see you there. Now let me know what other... Use your thinking caps. And you think of some other characters that we could get who are just, you know, plain clothes civilians if we had the actor's licenses that we could put them in the game. I want to hear from you. What do you think about this Nicolas Cage thing? Uh, and for all you sweet summer children who have no idea who Nicolas Cage is, i sorry for you. And really, I judge the parents. So, uh, what are some of the 120 film roles that you would like to see represented in the game by Nicolas Cage? And what other characters um, could we get in the game if we had the likeness rights for the actors and actresses? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this entire concept? I really want to hear what you think. I think it's great for the reasons I have stated, but I want to hear from you. Let me know what you think about the whole idea. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so very much for watching. As always, I appreciate the time that you spend here with me on my channel. And don't forget to take care of each other in and out of the fog. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. It's a Gen Rush life for us. It's a Gen Rush life for us. Set a hiding, we do gens. Set a randoms, we got friends. It's a Gen Rush life.